Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's the 2nd or 3rd of November, so I thought I'd better get my a video made of the pictures that I have completed in the month of October 2021. So I'm going to start with one of these um, kind of color by numbers or black background. This is by uh, Color Questopia and it's You Are Loved. I've uh, got lots of gel pens, just assorted gel pens on this one. If it glittered I, or, sh or it was shiny, I used it. I have a lot of, of gel pens that need to be gone, so I'm trying to get as many um, color by numbers and stuff like that done so I can use them up. I just don't want to throw them away, but... So yeah, this is from You Are Loved by Color Questopia. Next up I have Such and Such Divas 31 Unique Mandala Designs. And <clears throat> I've done this one. Kind of reminds me of a butterfly somehow. I think it's because of this shape right here. Just kind of when I when I turn the page, it says well, I, I thought it was a butterfly, but um, it's not. For some reason, I like a, a lot of white space in my mandalas. I think everything I used in here was glittery. Actually, I, I had I had more than like a uh, a handful of of gel pens that uh, were finished. So that was kind of nice. Look at all that glittery goodness, eh? <laughs> so that is uh, Satch and Satch Diva's 35 Unique Mandela Designs. And I had recently gotten this uh, Christmas Mystery Colors, and I, I really like this book. I think I did two pictures. This one's kind of deceiving because it's just snow in the background and I wasn't going to do all the grays and stuff for snow I just did the snowman but they're cute and there it's uh, glitter gel pens where did they go sometimes it's hard to see the glitter there well they're kind of cute aren't they I liked them I thought of maybe painting the background with uh, white acrylic paint, but I don't know, I didn't do it. And then I did this one, and oh, I love this one. This is just fab. A lantern. Now this is a combination of pens and pencils, like glitter gel pens. And then regular pencils. I did uh, pencil work for most of the blues and then the golds and the reds and stuff like that. I used glitter gel pens and I used an assortment. I couldn't tell you which one was which. It's like I said, I've got them in a big kind of like container and <sighs> excuse me, I'm just trying to use them up. Yeah, so those two pages are done for Mystery Colors Christmas. So I'll probably be keeping this book out for the next couple months to get some stuff done on it this time of the year. And then I did this color by number carpet stained glass and I think this is by Sun Life Drawing. And this book doesn't phase me. This is it's not, you know, I don't, I'm not happy about this book, put it that way. And I just used regular um, markers. Excuse me. Not my fave. Color by number carpets by Sun Life Drawings. Paisley Designs by um, Satch and Satch Diva. I like this one and I left spots that weren't colored. Um, 
I didn't feel like coloring them in between here. The 13 was supposed to be a peach color, but I didn't feel like it. I wanted to leave it white, so I did. So I've got that one done. And this one I used, I used some of the glee, the neons. And it's bright, man, it's even bright when it's on camera, isn't it? Holy. You, you should see it in real life. Oh, just takes my eyes out. But it was fun to do. That's Paisley Designs by Such and Such Diva. I'm yawning a lot because today for some reason is a hard day of breathing. Um, so it, um, it affects me when I, uh, have a shortness of breath, so sorry about that. COPD sucks, but, you know, life is life. So this is, uh, 101 Unique Mandalas by Camelia Anjakova, and I did the heart. And this is all glitter, I think, except for this real pale, pale pink one in the center. A lot of golds and um, oranges. A lot of fun. And that's the only one I did in this book. That's 101 Unique Mandalas by Camellia Anjakova. I've done a couple now in Autumn Inspirations by George Dufexis. Oh, that's pretty silly. I'm not done that one. I just did one, guys. I did this one. I used um, gel pens, glitter and non-glitter. And then uh, for this, I used... Um, I believe it was my Albert Dewar red and uh, just went up and down. It was too big of an area and it was the last and yeah. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when it comes to the end of the drawing, I just, I'm done and I just, I just toss it. I get um, frustrated. Well, as you can tell, I'm really not feeling good here. My breath is really getting bad. Uh, I'll try and uh, struggle through here. And this is uh, Cute and Creepy by Camilla Derrico. So tired. Yeah, and then I did this one. I kind of like this guy. This spider was a lot of fun. On this, I used um, those gel crayons, those silky gel crayons for my background. Um, I also used my Pablos for uh, the spider. And I used uh, my Sparkle Pop, the green one, for the eyes with some uh, white gel pen over top for highlights. But that's all I did. It was like the picture took less than no time at all. Yeah, I had fun. It was it was funny using these uh, silky crayons. It was it was different. It um, I like it, so it's going to be something I try to to do more often in my pictures, especially when you've got a bit of background to work with, like this one. Ugh, leaving just the spider. If I hadn't done anything in the background, it would be pretty pretty white. Like you know, there would, it would the spider doesn't take up a lot of the page. But it was it was it was a great um, time learning how to use these crayons. So I'm going to look forward to to using them in other other pictures. That's cute and creepy by Camilla Derrico. So this is a grim li a little grim world, and this is by oh I forget his name. It's in the bag. Uh, Carlin Douglas and I did it was fun doing this picture I 
I did this pumpkin. I love this pumpkin. Now I didn't do anything with the background. Um, and I didn't quite know what to, what to do with it. And I think, excuse me, in future videos, future videos, future pictures from this book, um, I might use some of those uh, crayon uh, jelly pens or jelly sticks, silky sticks. But the, the background does have um, a little bit to it. It has been shaded. It's grayscale, so it doesn't look quite so bad. It's uh, not, not totally white. There's a lot of layers on this. I love fun doing this. And I think I used uh, Pablo's and uh, Polychromos on this picture. So that's Carlin Douglas. A Little Grim World. Uh, this is Coloring Heaven's Halloween special from last year. Oh, beats eggs. These, um, the ghosts, I used uh, Paul Rubin's um, iridescent paint, watercolors. I've used some glitter gel pens on her clothes and um, on these ghosts down here. And then I've used um, Pablo's for pencil work. <laughs> Didn't give her any color for her eyes. I left them white. But I give her pink fluid in her little earring. And um, glitter gel bows, gel pen bows up on top of her pumpkin hat. She's the Halloween Girl by Jen Katz. And I believe I did another one in this book. Oh yeah, this one is by Simona Candini. And I did this. Octopus Girl. She was a lot of fun did her hair and just just a couple of strokes and kind of left it white. I just kind of put in the ends or where there was a, a bit of shading. I stuck some color in there, but the rest I, I left white and I left them um, the lollipop type thing white too. I don't know, it just seemed to speak to me and her dog is white. And I, I thought she looked cute and fluffy The the dress is really pretty and cute. And, and then we get to the, the legs sticking out of her and they're, they're metallic green. And this is Paul Rubin's paint. And I believe I used um, Jelly Roll Secure Jelly Roll glaze pens for some of the lollipops. And the cake. Yeah, she's kind of cute, eh? And her eyes are uh, all different colors. Eye. Just an iPad, not eyes. So that's two from Halloween's, Coloring Heaven's Halloween special from last year. I didn't bother getting this year's. I, to, to, you know, I don't mind Coloring Heaven sometimes, but Sometimes I, I do, so I didn't. Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosans. This picture, I'll tell you, I thought it was going to kill me. I couldn't get into it. I did this Russian dolls. I have a little joke about Russian dolls. I hate Russian dolls because they're so full of themselves. Isn't that, isn't that hilarious? Yeah. 
Um, I used, I started off with pencils. Um, not sure what kind, I, I only did this one little part. On the dolls, just started around their face with the, you know, the little handkerchief or kerchief, whatever you want to call it. And then I just gave up, I closed the book up and said, no, I'm not doing that. And then later on in the month, I picked it up again and I took, I grabbed a container of gel pens and I just gel penned this thing up. Some's glitter, some's not. The cities I left mostly white and I put a little bit of color on them. This is my least favorite career Rosanne picture. And I needed to get it out of the way because I want to finish this book. I do like the hair. I used three different shades of brown, I think, and left some of them white and I put black in some of them. Oh, I did for some reason really like doing the hair. The rest I did not like doing at all. Um, but it's done. Is is done. And it counts as completed when, I, when this book is all done. So once again, that's World Within Worlds by Kirby Rosans. The last book I worked on was my mouse guard, of course. And um, I did this picture. I used Pablo's on here for pencils. And anything glittery is uh, just gel pens, glitter gel pens. I enjoyed doing this one, of course. I love these book, the pictures in this book. Um, the little wiring in this lamp and his, I'm going to call it uh, armor, and parts of the, the sword is where the glitter gel pen is. The rest is pencil, and I believe I put a little bit of white gel pen um, on the background, the sky. But I made the fall, um, the leaves fall colored because it's October. And I put um, some of the leaves down here so they look like they're just about, you know, dying. Like they are dying, so they're, they're a lot more browner. And I put twigs, some of them that look like they're dead, and some twigs that are kind of still a little bit alive. But I did, I did enjoy doing this. I always enjoy my pages in Mouse Guard. Anyway, um, that's my story for the month of October. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope to get another one out uh, maybe this week or next week. I, I haven't been doing a lot of videos, but I'm still doing some coloring. Um, hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Take care. Have an awesome day. Bye.